Hey Scorpios, and welcome back for a bonus reading here. Uh, Y'all couldn't hear that last one, so you know we're going to make it up for you. Scorpio. It's not going to be the same energy, because I'm sure that those readings were absolutely amazing, and I'm not going to take them down. Y'all either need to see if you can use your, um, I wonder can you use your closed captioning. Y'all may have to learn how to read lips. <laughs> I know y'all probably ain't going to watch it, but hey, no need in crying over spilled milk. We got to keep on pushing on, Scorpio. So this bonus reading is what you do not know, okay? What you don't know. For some of you guys, you're about to know with the Ace of Swords. Someone may be about to come, come clean. Somebody may be about to talk to you. Someone may, may want your attention. This could be a communication breakthrough where, you know, things that have been held up and stagnant. So you may get a conversation or a call from someone. Look, it may even be a call that you don't know. So it could also represent what you don't know is that there is a mental breakthrough. There is a breakthrough taking place in your life, Scorpios. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Something that you may have given up on may be coming back around. Could be a job. See, that go to three of wands, but it showed up in the reverse. So I feel like something that you've moved on away from is coming back around for some of you guys. It could be a job. It could be a relationship. It could be an opportunity. What does Scorpios not see? Spirit, what does Scorpios not know? For Scorpios, highest good night. You may not need to know it, see? They go to moon. For some things, you're not going to know because it's going to change how you move. You know how sometimes, see, what you don't know, Scorpio, you got a beautiful opportunity coming your way. Look at the Ace of Pentacles. It's from the divine here. And it's going to totally rock your world because you're not going to see this coming with the uh, tower here. Once again, I'm get, once again, I'm getting is that what you thought, something that you thought was over with is coming back around or something you thought you couldn't have, you're going to get it. See, for some of y'all, it's about money. And for others, it could be some type of, um, somebody could be, uh, you, it could be a job. But when, as it pertains to love, I feel like, once again, you may be having an opportunity. Little do you know, see? Look, and they go to Ten of Pentacles, see? And they go to King of Cups. So for some of y'all, you're going to end up in some type of relationship with someone. For some of you guys, you thought you wasn't going to get it because they go the magician in the reverse. And some of you guys have just left it alone and moved on with a sense of feeling like you're not going to get it or it's, it's a wrap. Could be a Capricorn y'all done walked away from. Aries. But you're going to get another chance. Now, it could just be represent another chance in love. Some of y'all got a Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. You got, you got a Scorpio. But you also got the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. Some of y'all dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries with the Three of Wands in reverse. And then you got that Ace of Swords. So this King of Cups could be you, where you thought that it wasn't going to happen with you with this Ten of Pentacles. Some of y'all may have gave y'all gave up on, uh, for some of you masculines, you may have gave up on having something serious with someone. But little do you know, it's about to come out of nowhere. You could be like, dang, I thought you weren't feeling me like that. So it's, so it's kind of like one of those situations is that if it didn't happen when you wanted it to happen, you probably thought it wasn't going to happen, but it just wasn't the right time. Could have been, it could have, it could have not been the right time because you still, didn't, still needed to do some inner work on yourself. But like, I feel like with this magician in the reverse, I feel like you put the, I feel like you put the energy and you, so you did the work. But it didn't happen when you wanted it to. So it's almost like one of those delayed results does not mean no. But, you know, if you're going by what, what you see, then it's going to feel like, you know, you may have missed out. But I don't feel like that's the truth. I feel like it's just all about divine time in here that's at work in your life, your love life. So, like, I feel like you got a whole commitment that's about to just land in your lap and you're not going to see this coming. I feel like it's going to be a good surprise. Because what you thought you knew, you're going to find out you didn't know it all. All right? So what's this energy for Scorpios? What Scorpios do not know with the Ace of Swords, Ace of Bats. Clarify the Ace of Bats. Ooh, that's a beautiful yellow butterfly. Ooh, I'm feeling ocean energy. Goddess of love, fertility, beauty. 
Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords? What Scorpios don't know about this Ace of Swords? Why is the Ace of Swords here? The High Priestess. Then I said somebody's about to break the silence and they're about to open up. Somebody maybe want to take. See? Knight of Wands. I say y'all can't get away from that Knight of Wands though, huh? So what does Scorpios not know with this Ace of Swords? Mm. And there go the Magician in the reverse again, see? You're not going to see this coming, Two of Swords. For some of y'all, you may have a player coming in, somebody here who is very, very into you. You may be trying to figure out what they got going on in their life. But I feel like it's the same person that's about to come in. I feel like they're about to come clean. For some of y'all, it could have been about a third party with the Three of Swords. Or somebody here who broke your heart in the past. For some of y'all, somebody who ghosted you was about to come back around. So what's up with this Queen of Pentacles? What does Scorpios not see? Now, this could just be universe showing you what's going on in the background of your life. Who is this Queen of Pentacles for Scorpios? What Scorpios not see? Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpios. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? Five of Cups. Is somebody full of regret? Five of Ghosts. So someone may regret not putting their work in. See, they go to Eight of Pentacles. Somebody could have just been childish and not taking your connection serious, Scorpios. Oof. Somebody may feel bad because you guys are not together. There's tempers for some of y'all. It could be a Sagittarius. So what's up with this Queen of Pentacles for Scorpios? Somebody here could be regretting that they were so immature towards you and they 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 embarrassed. That they were holding back from something so beautiful like yourself. See, and there's the lover. Somebody may have needed to make up their mind who they wanted. Because the Lord lovers also represents choices and decisions. Because you got the uh, three of swords there. See, somebody may be trying to come back to you and explain. For some of y'all, y'all may be finding out that somebody probably was married. You got the queen of pentacles here. Look at that. They go to seven of swords again. See? And for others, this person's not able to move away from you because they're in love with you. They go to eight of one. Somebody may have gave you some lies. Somebody may have lied to you about something. Oof. What's up with this King of Cups for Scorpios? Clarify the King of Cups. It could also represent that somebody lies and manipulation and can no longer work on you anymore. Or they don't want to do that. So who is this King of Cups? This could be you. Why is the King of Cups here for what Scorpios don't know? The King of Cups. Hmm. Four of Wands. So this is a twin flame or somebody looking. They go to Sun. Could be a Leo. So the Sun is clearly shining on you. Shining in your direction to bring you happiness. If you follow your previous reading, it was about the happiness. Now this is what you don't know. In the moon. I feel like somebody's in their feelings. Somebody could have been hiding things from you too. And now somebody may be trying to come clean to you about it, hoping that you guys can start over. King of Cups. See, and they go to Wheel of Fortune. Divine time and karma, cycles, uh, good fortune, good luck, abundance. I see, and they go to Two of Cups, see. So that's what you don't know. You got a soulmate in the background, especially if this is somebody here that you used to be with. This is somebody here that's want to break the silence. Somebody's ready to open up. Somebody feel like they, the only way that they can come back to you is if they're, if they're to be real and honest with you and have a real conversation with you in hopes that if they just come clean that maybe you can start all over again. All right? Because <laughs> somebody clearly sees that you're not waiting around for them. Why is the three of wands in the reverse for Scorpius? I feel like somebody's secrets are about to come out. And I feel like they're going to tell it. Why is the three of wands in the reverse? See? For some of y'all, somebody was hiding the fact that they are in love with you. They go to King of Cups again. See? Somebody could have been holding back. Why is the three of wands? What Scorpio don't know with the three of wands in the reverse for Scorpios? Clarify the 
Three of Wands. So I feel like somebody know that they were very, very immature with how they handled their emotions towards you. See? And that go to Six of Ghost. Six of Cups again. See? I feel like somebody sees you as somebody here who is no longer waiting around for them. You're no longer waiting for someone to express how they feel about you. Because who got time for that? See? And once again, this is somebody here dealing with a lot of regret because someone know that they were not open to you. I feel like somebody played it too safe. And now I feel like somebody regrets not doing more. See, they go to food, but it could be too late. So someone here could have uh, been giving you the run around because they wanted to date other people because you got that night of wands or they didn't want what you wanted or that, or that they didn't see you as valuable. So now you got the moon. What does Scorpios not see with the moon? Clarify the moon for Scorpios. Why is the moon here for Scorpios? Six of Wands. Could be a Pisces. I feel like this is somebody here who misses your attention on them. And I feel like this is somebody here who may want to uh, clear the air. It could be fear. It could be somebody here who's having a lot of... Uh, nostalgia energy a lot of reminiscing energy somebody's missing you feeling like they didn't miss out i feel like somebody's dealing with a lot of fear too because someone could be thinking about all of the negative things that could happen because maybe they did it so this is someone here who is not happy without you see because somebody feels like they need to come clean about something look they go to ace of swords look for some of y'all once again Somebody, and look, and they go to Queen of Swords. Somebody may need to come clean about another person here with the Queen of Pentacles. For some of y'all, somebody may have been married. And somebody know that they didn't do right. And for others, this person is regretting because they didn't take you more serious because you're way much more valuable than they gave you credit or that they entertained. But like, I feel like either way I go with this Ace of Swords, y'all about, about to talk to somebody. Y'all about to get some type of truths. All right, see, four of swords, because they thinking long or hard about it. And somebody want to talk to you because they can't keep doing things like they used to do them. Two of pentacles in the reverse, they're not able to keep control. They can't keep up no more. <laughs> somebody may can't keep up with the lies that they told. So why is the magician in the reverse? Clarify the magician in the reverse for what Scorpio doesn't see, doesn't know. Could be a Pisces that's in the reverse. Someone doesn't feel as optimistic. Someone don't feel like they can control things. Or someone don't feel like they got it in their power to do it. Someone may be feeling like they don't have it in their power to get you back because they did so much to push you away. So why is the magician in the reverse for Scorpios? See, and they go to hangman because there's a need for your person to have a change of perspective. Maybe this is what they're doing. Could be a hang, uh, Pisces. But someone is changing their whole focus and their whole disposition about what they thought they knew. And I feel like they didn't know nothing about love. I feel like they didn't know nothing about love, Scorpio. This could have been somebody here who may was dating other people and they and they um they dragged you along. There go the nine nine of wands. I feel like this is somebody here who is very, very stubborn. See, it's six of pentacles in the reverse. I feel like for some of y'all, this person here may have been dealing with somebody else and they didn't know what they want until after they lost it. And I feel like somebody wants to come clean with you. There go the Knight of Cups. See, somebody is changing, Scorpios, because that's the only way they feel like they can get you back because I feel like this is somebody who wants back in, see? Seven of Cups, I feel like somebody may have had too many options, too many choices, too many people around, see? I feel like this is one of those situations where someone couldn't see the, the forest for the trees. They didn't know how fabulous you was because maybe they had, had themselves surrounded by so many other people's opinions. But I guess they're learning the hard way that that don't go for Scorpio. So why is the tower here? What do Scorpios not know with the tower? Could be a Scorpio. See there? They go to the devil card. See there? I feel like somebody's having a major realization about you, okay? That you're not like everybody else, see? Because they go to five of swords in the reverse, see? 
It's like somebody's ways backfired on them, Scorpios. And like I said, now somebody, <laughs> it ain't no fun with Scorpio. See, and they go to world. See, and there you go, the Queen of Cups. See? Somebody's realizing you're not investing time and energy into them anymore with the Queen of Cups. Because you don't play that and you know your value, god dang it. Look at you. See there? I feel like for some of y'all, somebody got a lot of regret because they went and dated somebody else and they was not on your level. Now, now you don't want them and now they're behind the scenes about to have a fit. See? So for somebody, their last resort is to come be clean, come clean and be honest with you, hoping that y'all can start over and there can be some forgiveness because they clearly see you as the one here. See? See there? Ace of Pentacles. What a Scorpio nice see? You got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles again. Like, I feel like somebody may be realizing that they done messed up. Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Look at them. Now, here they are about to chase you. That's what you don't see. Somebody's about to get their strength back, their courage back. Because somebody know that you bring them a lot of emotional fulfillment and that you are their ideal person. Just because they wasn't ish. Look, I ain't saying it's what these cards said. It could be Aquarius. could be a Leo. See? Three of Wands. So this person is planning something. This person is clearly waiting for another opportunity with you. See? Ace of Cups. See? Now you got the Ten of Pentacles. Now, I feel like this is the long-term relationship here. See, because they know you don't play that. The Queen of Swords, they know you ain't backing down. They know that you're speaking your truth. Like I say, y'all about to have a conversation here, Scorpio. See, y'all, you about to have a mature conversation with this person. See, because look, they go the Queen of Swords and the Emperor. See, see. <laughs> They about to talk to that Queen of Swords Empress, god dang it. Not the Queen of Cups Empress. Y'all put an end to that Queen of Cups Empress. Now they finna talk to the uh, Queen of Swords Empress. See, and I feel like they scared. I feel like somebody's scared because somebody. I feel like somebody feels like they gotta come clean with you and they already know that there's a big possibility that you don't want them. Look, they go to Ten of Pentacles again. For some of y'all, somebody may be trying to tell you that they were not married. They were in a, I mean, they were not single. They were in another relationship. Somebody could have been married, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting. Somebody got to tell you a secret. Somebody got to tell you something that they've been hiding and it scares them. So yeah, why would you want that? Now, now that's for some of y'all. They don't necessarily have to be married. This could have been somebody here who was all about their independence and their money. And they were being selfish. So they had to, they kept their options open. Somebody's going to plead their case with you because this person's realizing they can't move on and they don't want nobody else. Look, this person had a lot of people around them. Look at the Seven of Cups. But I'm telling you that all them Seven of Cups did, couldn't even touch you. See? But once again, somebody may be, somebody wants to apologize. See? And there they go. They want to make it right because somebody chose wrong. Okay? Somebody is sorry that they chose wrong. So don't be surprised if this person come give you a major realization here. For some of y'all, you may not want to hear this, but I feel like if you want this person, they're going to come clean with you and tell you all the things that you've been wanting to know that they've been hiding and keeping a secret. And for others, you can move past this and you can work your relationship out. You can heal and you can have something. But for some of y'all, y'all don't care what they did. Y'all don't want this person back. And I feel like this is why they are afraid to make it known to you, Scorpios, is because somebody was hiding something from you and they know that you probably ain't playing no games with that queen of swords. You're going to want to know what it was. And for some of y'all, this person's scared to come back around because they're scared that you're going to question them, all right? Because they know you can see right through that, okay? They know. They, they said they don't know how you do it, but some kind of way you be knowing what's really going on even when they're telling you otherwise, all right? So like I say, what you don't see, what you don't know is this person is scared because somebody's scared that once they tell you something or once they come clean, for some of y'all, somebody's scared to open up to you most and let you know that they've been in love with you because somebody feels like uh, it's not going to be reciprocated or it's too late. Because I'm just thinking, I'm just getting that somebody here did the most. Somebody did the most to throw you off. And then for some of y'all, somebody did the most because they wasn't right and they made you suffer. So what's the possible outcome here? 
Hear them birds out there talking. So for some of y'all, the possible outcome is healing this connection. See? For some of y'all, your possible outcome is that they want to heal this with you. All right? <laughs> That's your reading, Scorpios. Please like, share, and subscribe.